Arsenal's dying? Yo, I know, I know I've heard a lot of people saying this thing, but why did people leave? Why did YouTubers leave? And what exactly happened? All right, let me get you back all the way to the first YouTuber who left Arsenal to make Bedwars content, which is Tanker. And why did he quit? Because he doesn't find Arsenal fun anymore. He felt like it's time to quit, it's time to do something else. And he found Bedwars, he knows that people like it, he just makes it. And he gets more viewers than before. For, so that's why he keep on doing it. And why does this affect Arsenal very much? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I am gonna explain it again. So number one reason is because Tinker is the biggest YouTuber at the moment to ever make Arsenal content. So that's why he is the core of Arsenal popularity. And the second factor is that if he quits, the other Arsenal YouTubers are gonna quit, which means that after Tinker left, Bandai just do the same thing. And since Bandice lives in the same house as Wake. So Wake does the same thing. And so do John Roblox. That's how Arsenal community slowly died down. And guess what? The worst thing is that the summer update, all they did was added some guns, a new map. I don't know how many game modes are ready. And that's probably why Arsenal just died down so fast after the summer update. And one more thing that people must not forget about. Do you remember this crap? Yes, I know I've made some videos about it and I really do feel sorry about it, but Lord LT, Play Soy, Step Out Games, uh, Tiny Gas, Leo, and a lot more. I gotta be honest, a lot more. They just did the same thing over and over again. And guess what? They got tons of views. After that, a lot of them, their channel just died down instantly because of over posting those clickbait videos. And that's basically how Arsenal just died down because of the communities just ruining it. I gotta be honest with that. It's not really Rolf's fault, not gonna lie, but yeah, some part of it is really Rolf's fault because they kind of not promised but they gave us high expectations but after the release of the summer update it just didn't change much the game is boring to a lot of people and guess what tanker is a lot of people's role model so when tanker moved to another game his fans are gonna move to the game that he's moving to so here comes the big question is arsenal is gonna survive arsenal have been a very big game since 2016 or something like that after the summer update one came out it's a really good game i think it's not dead it's just the second generation. What do I mean by that? I think you guys have to stay tuned for part two. 30 likes and you're going to receive a part two.